Loveland now, where federal safety investigators are looking into what killed an employee at the Loveland ski area. Other employees tell us safety has been an issue there. 40-year-old Adam Lee was a husband and a father. His wife tells our Melissa Garcia she is still waiting for answers from the ski area about exactly what happened. It was Thursday around 11 a.m. when a ski lift mechanic died here in the Loveland Valley. Officials say he was working on one of three magic carpet rides like this one when he was tragically killed in an accident. It's a nightmare. Amanda Lee is devastated by the sudden loss of her brother Adam. <laughs> He's leaving behind all these beautiful children. The father of four died three days after Christmas while on the job at Loveland Ski Area. He went in early, he stayed late, he went in days off. He loved that place, that was his life. Adam's wife Erica came home after her second job to the news that her husband had been killed in a quote, freak accident, and says she soon learned some of the horrific details from his coworkers. He was under the magic carpet, which that conveyor belt, and that's supposed to have a lockout system. But somebody came up and started it and he was dragged under. Leaving other workers feeling uneasy about the operation's safety. They hire people at low dollar and they, they don't pay them enough and they don't train them enough to protect their lives. Loveland Ski Area spokesman John Sellers could not provide details as to how the accident happened. It's a tragedy that's, that's, that's hard to put into words for everybody that's been affected by it. The 40-year-old Colorado native had worked here for three seasons, two of those as a liftee before becoming a lift mechanic, the position where the accident ended his life. They are missing their father who loved them with all his heart. Loved ones have set up this benefit account to help. You can find a link at cbsdenver.com. An investigation is underway by the Colorado Passenger Tramway Safety Board along with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Currently no timeline on when they'll have answers as to why and how that man died. In Loveland Ski Area, Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First.